Okay, the main riff. I'm going to turn off the delay and the drive. It's pretty straightforward. After that uh, EBO, uh, EBO or sustainer, okay, we did this. He's going to pick that last, this is that last note he picks after the sustainer part going into the main riff. Now you're already in this position. Just take your first finger and put it on the E string and your third finger and put it on the G string on the 12th fret, 12th and 10th fret, just like that. Okay, and we're gonna do this. Uh, and you're gonna need this middle finger, second finger, to go down on the 11th fret on the G string, okay? Okay, you're gonna need that pattern. So, you're gonna go like this. You know, lift that finger to get that note, okay? So that's... Then you're gonna hit the open D. Keep this down and let it ring. And hit the open D. Then lift this finger and do a G. But that's the main riff. Let's do it with the delay. Drive. Now you'll notice I threw in another note there. Um, Edge often does this. So it's really simple, same pattern, but you're gonna, I'll, just, I'll take it slow. That's the first way. This time it'll be a little different. Before hitting the open G, you hit this again. So it's this. just throws in that one. Uh, where there was no note before, he threw in a note. So you get this with no delay. Zoom out just a tad. Some people play it like this. This note here, well you have this note here on the E, this note here on the G, you can find on the B string. It's right here, okay, 9, 8th fret. So this red note on the B is the same as this one. So you could do this. See that? So you put this first fret on the seventh, first finger on the seventh, and the eighth you can put the second finger and put your pinky here on the tenth, okay? And then you can do this. And the 
then lift. Okay. And then hit this. If you'd rather do that and you don't like to skip the B string, because if you do this version with the way the edge plays it, you got to skip over the B string, right? But I just wanted to show that some people do play it that way. It's not wrong. You're playing the same notes. Just some people are more comfortable not skipping over a string. I think that's the main reason people play it that way. Um, so, in that first verse, Edge plays that a few times, and then he slows it down a little, not necessarily in r and H. I like the Paris version and a couple others also. So the version I played for you, the notes are not all from one live version, they're from various different versions. Um, so specifically, when the music or the vocals tone down a little bit, Edge, you could just keep playing that riff over and over and over again, but what Edge does is changes it up, and uh, he does something like this. So after doing that a few times, okay, somewhere in there I just let it hold. And Bono's singing, and skips half a measure or so, or there's just this pause, and then all I do is this. Okay, and the second time all I do is this. I skip this, and I just go. So watch my cover and you'll see I'm just slowing it down, I'm not playing the bass notes, I'm just doing this real light. into the main riff. So there's just a couple areas there where, or one area in particular that comes up after the main riff where Edge just lightens it up a little, doesn't play all the notes, just slows it up because Bono, you notice, he's um, in a softer part of the verse. Um, so you hear Edge picking softer and he starts playing less notes. So essentially you're gonna get something like this. To, let's play it along with the song. Right at the end of that part, we're going to go into the harmonics, but there's a little bit of transition, so we'll go through that next. 